We ask at this time your leadership and inspiration for each graduate. May their talents be used to help in the task of making a better world. Let us go from this place with positive thoughts etched firmly in our minds, thoughts which will convict us when we are neglectful, and thoughts that will inspire us in times of testing. Hear our prayer, O Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please have a seat. I don't really feel like I need this mic. It's a small group, but I want you to know that we're very proud of you. My name is uh, Dr. John Byron, the president of Charisma University. Welcome. I want to make some introductions. Unfortunately, I have to sometimes put my little cheater glasses on. Dr. Peter Akpala, the founder. And you've just met Dr. William Sloan. Dr. Mark Rondia. Rondi, sorry about that. Um, we have Dr. Edward Smith, okay, and my lovely wife, Wire. And we also have in our audience Dr. David Houghton from Oklahoma Baptist University. Yes. And our special guest is Dr. Paul Epstein. Okay. Did I miss anyone? I could name everybody here as well. So, all right. Well, good afternoon, class of 2015. What an honor it is for me to say that. Class of 2015, all 44 of you, you know, there's just six, there's 44 of you in spirit. What you have accomplished is a great milestone for you and your family. You, because of tenacity, is a great, sorry, you, because of tenacity, you, because of tenacity, shown to complete your courses to earn the desired degree, did not come easy. There were texts to read discussions to participate in, papers to write, and tests to take. A lot of work, but it paid off. Since you all sit here waiting to receive your diploma from Prisma University. But let's not forget your family and the sacrifice they made for the planes flying over, allowing you to sit behind a monitor for hours and hours to make life better for you and your family. At this moment, please give yourself and your family a round of applause for all the hard work and sacrifice they made. Former U.S. Representative Ron Lewis once said, ensuring quality higher education is one of the most important things we can do for future generations. That is what we believe at Charisma University and what we do here, offering a high quality educational experience, one that will allow our students to advance in their chosen fields and make a better world for all of us. That should be the ultimate goal of education, to learn and make a positive difference. In this sometimes trying world, we need to listen to the words of that great humanitarian Nelson Mandela. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. And at Charisma, we have already seen and heard the advancements of alumni, 
promotions, new opportunities, and a desire to keep making those positive changes. Perhaps you all extended your education for many reasons, but I can guess one of those reasons was curiosity. Curiosity about your professional goals, or maybe curiosity about how far you can personally go in your chosen career. But curiosity is often the key to success. Socrates said, wisdom begins with wonder. As you all sit here waiting for me to finish speaking, which I'm sure you'd want me to, think back a moment when you made the decision to further your education. Was it wonder or curiosity? All you have to remember is, it was a wise decision. So Socrates knew a thing or two. Congratulations, class of 2015. Our valedictorian, Brian Curtis. Brian is a native of Washington, D.C. He currently resides in Virginia with his, I love this, with his college sweetheart and wife, Dr. Angela Curtis, of 26 years. That's great. <laughs> Small crowd, I get a little curse on him. As a 28 year uh, educator, Brian has worked with young people at many different levels. His impact has been felt by thousands through his work with agencies like juveniles and family services. He has served in several capacities in multiple elementary, middle, and public high schools. Brian is an educator, author. He is the founder of the Astounding Young Man Award, which is part of the Better Brother Initiative, which he created to impact the lives of young men of color. He is the founder of the First Time University, which is a program he launched to equip first-generation college-bound students for college life. He developed the Aspiring Young Men Program, which was a groundbreaking mentoring program for middle school special education boys deep in my heart, because I used to be a edu uh, special education director and teacher for years. He holds master's degrees in guidance and counseling, professional studies, and now a doctor in education. He currently works as a high school counselor with specially, specially center art students, sorry, schools. God has blessed Brian with unique gifts and talents to be a major blessing for others. And at this time, I'd like to introduce you, and come on up, please. <laughs> Thank you, <clears throat> excuse me, for those kind words. To Dr. Byer, Dr. Akpala, distinguished faculty, family, friends, and my fellow graduates. Good afternoon and welcome to Charisma University's 2015 commencement ceremony on the beautiful Turks and Caicos Islands. It is indeed my honor to be here today. Before I go any further, I have to recognize my best friend, my college sweetheart, and my wife of 26 years, Dr. Angela Curtis. And I have to thank her because she believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. So sweetheart, again, I say thank you. Speaking of my wife, as I was preparing this speech, she asked me, uh, she gave me some advice. She said, Dr. Curtis, do three things for me. She said, number one, please be thankful. Number two, please be humble. And most importantly, she said, please be brief. <laughs> <laughs> and so with that in mind, I will. But I do want to um, encourage my fellow graduates um, to enjoy and embrace this moment. But do not allow this ceremony to be the, the, the defining moment uh, of your life. Because this is just the beginning, not the end. I challenge you, my fellow graduates, to use the knowledge and wisdom you, you gained through your academic journey, not just to make a living, but to make a difference. We are equipped to be game changers. So many people have made sacrifices for us to get to this point. It is now our responsibility to have it is not our responsibility to do what we have accomplished um, to do with that without degrees, and that is to improve our communities. The great Dr. Miles Monroe once said, eyes that look are common, but eyes that see are rare. Charisma University has provided us with the knowledge that allows us to have uncommon vision. 
we must take that vision into our various communities and transform it into a reality. As you leave the ceremony today, I challenge you to ponder these questions. Question number one, what do you see yourself doing with your degree? Question number two, who do you see yourself helping? And then question number three, what will be your legacy? My fellow graduates, I salute you. Congratulations, and may God bless you. Thank you. Very well done. Well, I have the distinct pleasure of introducing our keynote speaker, Dr. Paul Edison from Apollos University. Dr. Paul Edison, for the past eight years, has been the president and CEO of Apollos University. His primary responsibility is to build upon the university's mission and its strength while ensuring both student success and access to academic excellence that is accessible, attainable, and affordable. As the president, Dr. Edison took an active leadership role in developing academic programs and priorities in concert with the executive board. I know, and the university's outstanding faculty. As the CEO and president, he oversaw the implementation of the annual operating and financial plans of the university reports progress toward the plans and outcomes up to the board of directors. Prior to assuming Apollo's university leadership, Dr. Edison had over 20 years of higher education and was associated with such prestigious universities as Rutgers University, Princeton, no, those are pretty, pretty good. Princeton University, University of South Carolina, Forever Community <coughs> College, University of Phoenix, North Central University, TUI, and Bethel University. Again, it is my honor to uh, introduce Dr. Paul Edison, if you'd come up. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I really don't need this thing, but I'm going to use it anyway. You're probably going to hear me more than through this thing. Thank you very much for inviting me here. I am pleased and honored to attend your graduation. I am pleased and honored to be able to speak to you this morning. It is mine, my wife's, and our director of finance's pleasure to be on such a beautiful island as you have here. Thank you very much. Each of the graduates, this is something I do at every graduation, so bear with me. Each of the graduates have been supported by someone. A long-standing girlfriend, friend, wife, supporter, children, husbands, wives. I would like to have each of the graduates stand for just a moment. Please stand for just a moment, just the graduates. Turn around. Look at the people that are in the audience that have supported you and give them a round of applause. So thank you. Thank you, graduates. You may be seated. It's always an honor to be able to say thank you to those that have supported us. Always an honor. Looking at the graduates, I am so pleased to see that we have doctorates and undergraduates in front of us today. I understand that some of you travel from the United States and you're enjoying the weather and the beach. <laughs> Beautiful. That's gorgeous here. I also understand that there are two individuals that we as a group are honored to be able to share their graduation with them because they're the first TCI graduates. And I <laughs> As most of you know, Col there's no wind blowing and it's blowing off here. And it's blowing off. It's probably a high course. And most of you know a college degree and even a high school diploma has been a challenge for many, many years. When I was a young boy, if you didn't have a high school diploma, you were unable to open doors to enter into the good job markets. Then all of a sudden in the 1970s and 80s, we saw actually in the 60s and 70s, we saw a switch to where you had to have a bachelor's degree. It was without a bachelor's, you couldn't do anything. 
Then in the 70s, 80s, we saw a switch to the master's degree. The MBA became the degree for everyone to obtain. Now today, we see a shift toward the doctorate degrees and people are realizing the importance of higher education within their lives. Societal changes, technological changes, instant communication. I had to turn my cell phone off because it will buzz while I'm standing here. International trade, etc., are presenting new challenges for each of us. And now you have new challenges because you're looking for new expectations in your lives. But we also have to understand that even though we have these challenges, we have to look at our own professions and we have to understand how our education plays a major role and part in our professions and how are we going to interface within the new global society that we live in, the instant communication global society. Just a moment ago, I mentioned the word key. Graduates, today you will receive a key. It's going to be up here, I think up here, on the table. It's going to be given to you. That key is only a key. That key, though, that you will receive today is a key that you will be able to put into locks, on doors that were not open to you previously. However, when you receive that key, remember, the key only unlocks the door. You have to have the courage to walk through that door, and it's up to you as to how far you go once you open that door and walk through. As the president and CEO of a Polish university, I'm often asked by graduates, just like yourself, and I'm going to quote this, now that I have graduated from your university, not my university, but our university, what will you do to ensure my degree continues to be valuable? That's a good question. What will Charisma do to ensure that your degree is considered valuable? When I give the answer that I'm getting ready to give to you, to our students, sometimes I receive this strange, almost angry look. Because I tell them, it's not my place. It's not my job. It's your job. I normally try to get to the second part before they hit me. <laughs> because remember, they have spent money paying for their tuition. They have spent many hours studying. They have not gone on vacations. They have done so much. They've given up so much. And here is this guy standing in front of them telling them, it's not my job, it's your job. I tell them the only person that can truly ensure that your degree is valuable is you, the graduate. Your peers, employees, your employers, your uh, family, they now see you as a charisma graduate, not just yourself. You wear the banner. They are going to look at your degree and Charisma University based upon your knowledge, your abilities, your work quality, and your attitude. We as administrators can tell everybody how wonderful our schools are, but the real value is based upon you. They're going to look at you and they're going to say, you graduated from Charisma. That must be a wonderful school. So, I want you to understand that you are now promoting Charisma, you are promoting yourself, you're promoting your degree. Use the key 
that you received and have earned, unlock that door and walk through. You are going to have that wonderful opportunity today. I would like to now switch gears real quick because my wife also told me to be short. <laughs> I'd like to tell you about something that recently happened. Recently, Dr. Bear and myself signed an articulation agreement between your university, Charisma University, and Apollos University. What is exciting about that? What's exciting is that here is two universities, global universities, that are coming together and they're giving students opportunities. <laughs> the license that we operate under and our accreditation lives. So it's a wonderful opportunity for you and you participate, can participate in this and so can your family and friends. In recognition of this significant event, the Apollo University Board of Directors, faculty and staff, has asked me to present to Charisma University a small token of our appreciation. Dr. Bear, can I get you to come up, please? Yes. On behalf of Apollos University's Board of Directors, our faculty and staff, we would like to present this little token of appreciation to Charisma University, and we hope that it's displayed. <laughs> Once again, I would like to say thank you for this great honor, and I would like to thank and tell the graduates that I am honored to be here. I appreciate you, and I look forward to seeing great things out of you, and I know that Charisma University will be proud of your future. Thank you once again. God bless, and I'm going to be short. <laughs> what wonderful gesture. Thank you so much on behalf of Charisma University. Thank you. I, I, now I'd like the founder, Dr. Peter Akpol, uh, come up and say a few words if you wouldn't mind, and then we're going to get on with it. Okay? Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Congratulations, class of 2015. Thank you. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. Imagine you are graduating today. You have achieved one specific goal, and that is to increase your higher education level. And that is something to be very excited about, for sure. As the founder of Charisma University, I know we are making a positive contribution to society by just looking at you graduates and the many more than eight graduates that unfortunately could not make the trip to talks and papers like that. So many of you will live here today Go home and find how this further degree will increase your value in the global market. No matter where, no matter your choosing field. A higher education is not only a ticket to a better life, but one that can bring happiness and rewards, not only for you, but for your family. Sure. The purpose, my purpose of studying Charisma University years ago was to offer a superior and more affordable education for those students wanting to increase their personal knowledge in the field they love. That love is shown today by you being here, waiting to receive your diploma. How wonderful for you and for all of us at Charisma who aren't only faculty administrators, but are real people who won't start where you are now. Scared of the future, but anxiously awaiting that moment when we were rewarded for all our hard work with a piece of paper. <laughs> but it is not just a piece of paper, but the key to your future. That paper, that diploma shows the world that you had the energy, intelligence, and willingness to continue on with your education. Of course, it wasn't always easy. The time away from family, the time spent writing papers, or entering online discussions, but it was worth it. Look at you now. 
it's over. And we are so proud of you to still call you alumni of Charisma University. Years ago, when I pointed out the concept of Charisma, I wondered if this university would ever be successful. Today, I can tell you that it's worth it. Thank you, and congratulations, class of 2015. Dr. Mark Arandia, so please come up. students have completed the necessary coursework for conferral of their individual degrees. The authorization of degrees. On behalf of the Board of Trustees and the authority of the Ministry of Education of Box and Kegos Island, I have authorized the award of the designated degrees to class of 2015. Graduates, would you mind standing and moving that way? Specialization in Higher Education. Dissertation title, Re-examining School Suspension, a qualitative investigation of trauma awareness and cultural creativity as counseling tools for reducing black male suspension. Doctorate, Emphasis in Behavioral Health. Dissertation title, The Role of Forgiveness in Psychotherapy with Attention on Victims of Trauma, a Case Study. And E. 
Laverne Williams, Doctorate in Psychology, Emphasis in Educational Psychology. Dissertation title, Students with Disabilities in the Orange County, Florida Public School System. Does race, gender, or both matter? Suddenly it's like the women and 